What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise News. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where the Audi Q8 TF SIE Quattro has been revealed. Yes, that is a mouthful, but let's talk about this thing. Now the Audi RS Q8 is already on sale in the United States, representing the company's racing know-how implemented into a practical SUV. With 591 horsepower, 441 kilowatts, and 590 pound-feet or 800 newton meters of torque, the sportiest Q8 is unmatched in terms of power, but there's a new hybrid version of the Q8 that gets pretty close to the range topper. Now, meet the Q8 TFSIE Quattro, Audi's plug-in hybrid coupe SUV that rounds off the Q8's model range. It'll be available in two variants depending on the output, Q855 TFSIE Quattro and Q860 TFSIE Quattro. Now both use a powertrain that consists of two power units. The combustion engine is a 3 liter turbocharged TFSI V6 with 340 horsepower, 250 kilowatts, and 332 pound feet, 450 newton meters of torque. The unit meets Europe's latest Euro 6 AP emission standards and is supported by a permanently excited synchronous machine, electric motor, and a 17.8 kilowatt lithium ion battery pack. Speaking of battery pack, this is a new generation package that has a 0.5 kilowatt larger capacity than its predecessor and it is 88 pounds or 40 kilograms lighter. The previous version was introduced with the Q7 TF SIE Quattro which is now fitted with the battery of the latest generation. Now back to the newest plug-in hybrid addition to Audi's lineup. It'll come in two power outputs that differ in terms of their boost strategy. The more powerful Q860 TF SIE Quattro has 462 horsepower, 340 kilowatts, and 516 pound feet or 700 newton meters of torque. Good for a 0 to 62 miles per hour or 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just 5.4 seconds. Now the Q855 TF SIE Quattro has 381 horsepower, 280 kilowatts, and 443 pound feet or 600 newton meters of torque, and that system will get you 0.4 seconds slower from the 0 to 62 or 0 to 100 kilometer hour sprint. Now measured by Europe's WLTP cycle, the Q860 TF SIE can travel up to 28 miles or 45 kilometers at a single charge of the batteries. Now the more affordable version offers 29 miles, 47 kilometers of autonomy between two charges. And at this point, the new Q8 PHEV will be available only in Europe. And the prices in Germany are starting at 75,350 euros or $88,464 at the current exchange rates for the Q855 TF SIE Quattro. Now the more expensive and more powerful version gets the S-Line exterior package as standard, as well as LED headlights, adaptive sport air suspension, and 21 inch wheels. But what are you guys thinking about this new lineup for the new electrified Audi Q8 Quattros? Let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video today, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up, helps get it up in the rankings. More people can see it. And we can have a bigger discussion on Audi's new Q8 Quattros that are electrified for the TFSIE models. Now with that said, in case you guys want to help further the support the channel, always check the links down below. I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. In case you guys want to donate a couple extra dollars to the channel, you can always do that. Or check out my Patreon, be a monthly subscriber. I also have Ron's Rise merch. We can check out the Ron's Rise hoodies, long sleeve shirts, coffee mugs, stickers, everything Ron's Rise there. And you can also follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. I mean, see everything I'm posting, car memes, videos, and pictures that don't always make it here to the channel. With that said, make sure you subscribe, but click that notification bell so you can get these videos straight to your inbox and you don't miss one. With that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day. We'll talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise News video. Peace.